His head no longer shaved, the accused shooter now has a full head of short, dark hair with long sideburns. But entering court with chains at his ankles and wrists, he had the same grin that seemed so shocking in his first booking photo. Two of those who were wounded were in the front row of the courtroom seeing Loeffner for the first time since the day they were shot. Bill Badger, who was one of those who pinned down the gunman, stared sternly at Loeffner. Susan Heilman, sitting in a wheelchair, gripped her husband's hand and at times seemed to fight tears when Loeffner first entered. At the time of the shooting, Heilman was with nine-year-old Christina Green, the youngest person killed. Through his attorney, Loeffner pleaded not guilty to all 49 counts. Ron Barber, Congresswoman Gifford's district director, is still recovering from a bullet wound in his leg. He decided not to go to court today. It's been an emotional uh, roller coaster ride for me, and I'm sure for many others who were there that day. Now, Loeffner spoke only once in court today, and it was strange. When the clerk asked if his name was Jared Lee Loeffner, he answered in a sort of surprised tone Yes, it is. The judge ordered that he undergo a psychiatric examination to determine if he's competent to stand trial. Katie? John Blackstone. John, thanks very much. By the way, Congresswoman Giffords could be well enough to travel to Florida to see her husband, astronaut Mark Kelly, lift off in the Endeavor April 19th.